Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Mana to Live By, one day, at a time. Today is April 3rd. Today's reading is from Proverbs 23 7. As, a man, thinketh in his heart, so is he. A.P. Gibbs used to say, you are not what you think you are. But what you think, this is what you are. This means, that the mind is the spring, from which behavior flows. Control the source, and you control the stream, that flows from it. Therefore, control of the thought life is basic. That is why Solomon said, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Proverbs 4.23 Here, the heart is used as a synonym for the mind. James reminds us that sin begins in the mind. James 1.13-15 If we think about a thing long enough, eventually we'll do it. Sow a thought, and reap an act. Sow an act, and reap a habit. Sow a habit, and reap a character. Sow a character, and reap a destiny. The Lord Jesus, emphasized the importance of the thought life, by equating hatred with murder. Matthew 5 21, 22 And by equating the lustful look with adultery. Matthew 5 28 He also taught that it's not what a man eats that defiles him, but what he thinks. Mark 7 14 to 23 We are responsible for what we think, because we have the power to control it. We can think about lewd, suggestive things, or we can think about what is pure and Christ-like. Each one of us is like a king. The empire that we rule over is our thought life. That empire has tremendous potential for good and enormous potential for evil. We are the ones who determine which it will be. Here are some positive suggestions as to what we can do. First, take the whole matter to the Lord in prayer, saying create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51.10 Second, judge every thought by how it appears in the presence of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10-5 Third, confess every evil thought, instantly and expel it. Proverbs 28.13 Next, Avoid having a blank, empty mind. Fill it with positive, worthy thoughts. Philippians 4-8 Fifth, exercise discipline over what you read, what you see, and what you hear. You cannot expect a pure thought life if you feed on filth and pollution. Finally, keep busy for the Lord. It's when you shift your mind into neutral, that vile fantasies seek admission. Let's pray, Father, while we realize how fragile we are, we thank you for your word with which we could strengthen ourselves. Help us to always fill our minds with your word, so that no devilish thought can be allowed to enter and take root there. On our own, we cannot hold the fort, but with your strength, we can. Continue to help us, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Today's devotional was originally written by William MacDonald and adapted and developed for audio and video screen by John Benjamin. For more of such devotionals, please click the channel link given in the description below. Praise the Lord.